G'day guys, it's Jim, and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to do a damage rotation in RuneScape 3. This little rotation is going to increase your DPS and get you a long way in your PVM journey. Now this is going to be a very, very simple rotation, but it's very effective and trust me, I wish this was one of the first things that I learned when I came back to the game. Let's jump into it. First of all, in order to practice this, come to the Lumbridge Training Academy just next to the bank in the Lumbridge Training Area. You will find these combat dummies. Now, we're going to be using these for our training. You can also use the combat dummies in the War Retreat if you want to, but I usually come here because it's deserted and no one ever comes here. The items that we're going to need for this is the Ring of Vigor, which you can pick up from the Dungeoneering Rewards Store using Dungeoneering Tokens over on Daemonheim. You can check out my video on why you need to train Dungeoneering to go see more on this. And we also need an Adrenaline Potion, so make sure you've got the Herb Law level for this one as well. And finally, you're going to need a Ring Switch, so a Berserker Ring, a Luck of the Wharves, a Ring of Death. Any ring that's going to boost your combat ability is something that you should bring along as well. For this, I'm going to use all three combat styles, and I'm going to show you something to start off with. First, we need to set up your action bar properly. What I mean by that is we need to set your action bar up so that when you switch your weapon style, it automatically switches the bar. As you can see here, if I switch to melee dual wield, it's going to switch to a different bar. If I switch to range, it's going to switch to the range bar for me. And if I switch to my magic bar, it's going to switch to it. To set this up, you need to go to combat settings, which is this little cog here. Go to combat and action bar, action bar binding, and we need to set this up to a specific style. So always have your action bar set to your primary bar. Your primary bar is this one. So it's always going to be the one under your summoning. So if I was to separate this, this is the primary bar. So you're always going to separate it and do that. Now, what we need to do is we need to set up the styles. So weapon style, range dual wield, action bar one. Why? Because action bar one for me is where I have all of my ranged abilities. If I was to set it as action bar two, it would pull my magic abilities, which we don't want. So for me, it's range dual wield, primary bar, action bar one. Next, my magic setup. So magic two hand, we're going to have this as the primary bar, action bar two, because my magic bar is action bar two. Now for melee, I've got my melee dual wield and my melee two H as different bars because they have different abilities. So primary bar, action bar four for my dual wield and action bar three for my two hander. Now, if you wanted to use a dual wield magic or a two-hander range, you can also set that up in here as well to change to that style. So range 2H, primary bar, and action bar 1 because that is my range bar. And then obviously for the magic, we can do that as well. Magic dual wield, primary bar, action bar 2. Now, I will have to change some abilities to do this, but it's pretty much got everything we need. So when you're done, you should be able to switch your weapons back and forth, and then you should be able to change your bar. That is lesson one, setting up your bars correctly. Lesson two is key binding certain locations on your bars. Now we're going to need an additional bar to do this. So you've got your main bar just there and an additional bar. Together, this gives us our damage rotation. So we need to unlock an additional bar. We can do this through action combat, just where we were, then go to action bar, and we can go additional bar one and set this as six. I usually have all of these. So six, seven, eight, nine. The more you have to me personally, the more I'm able to do. So now you have your two action bars. You want to set them up like this. Drag your ring of vigor into this slot here. Drag your adrenaline potion into this one. And then your ring switch into the last one. So I'm going to change it to a luck of the wolves. So it should be vigor, adrenaline potion, and then your ring switch. Now, on top of that, you want to have your ultimate ability, which for me is Sunshine, and then your two threshold abilities, which is Wild Magic and Asphyxiate. This six combination of items here is going to be your damage rotation. Now, if you're clever, you can see that when I change my combat style, it's already set up for the other combat styles. It's the same buttons, no matter which combat style we're looking at. That's what makes this so unique, is that you only have to remember the one damage rotation for all three combat styles, because it's set up the same way. Just to repeat, no matter which combat style, Vigor, Adrenaline Potion, Ring Switch is always in the same spot. The boosting ability and two thresholds always in the same spot, regardless of which combat style it is, which makes it very easy to remember the combination. 
Now we want to keybind this because ultimately you do want to move away from just using revolution and you want to get used to doing some sort of manual clicks here and controlling your damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to keybind these. The keybind that I found the easiest to use this for is the F keys because they're out of the way from the rest of the keys and it's easy to see your damage rotation on the F keys. So F5 for my ring of vigor, F6 for my boosting ability, F7 for my adrenaline and F8 for my ring switch. One, two, three, four, and that's the order you're going to do your damage rotation. Now, if you don't have sunshine or death swiftness for your ranged abilities, you will need to complete World Wakes and unlock these abilities. World Wakes is a pretty simple quest. If you have level 70 and above combat, you should be fine. And it's going to unlock these two abilities. Now, what do these two abilities do? they increase your damage by 50% while in use. So for 30 seconds, you've got 50% more damage, which is absolutely crazy. It's also going to do an area of effect damage. So anything that's in the area around you is also going to take damage as well, which is bloody awesome. These things are really, really powerful. There's one for magic and there's one for range, and you're going to unlock them for free just from completing World Wakes the quest. Melee, on the other hand, is a little bit different. Melee, by default, you already have this unlocked. At level 42, you can use the ultimate ability, which is called Berserk. Now, this is going to double your damage. However, you will take 50% more damage yourself. So there is double the damage, but 50% more damage for yourself. So it's a little bit of you get more powerful, but at the same time, you get weaker. So you got to be a little bit more careful with the melee version, whereas the range and the magic version are 50% more damage with extra area of effect damage. All right, cool, cool. So if lesson one is setting up your bar, lesson two is key binding and making sure your abilities are in the right location, lesson three is going to be all about adrenaline. Let's talk about this little thing here. So before we start, make sure you go to your combat settings, turn off automatic trigger threshold abilities, turn off automatically trigger ultimate abilities because we want to control these two. We don't want them going off automatically. What we do want going off automatically is our basic abilities. So before your damage rotation, which starts at Berserker on the top, make sure all of these abilities to the left are basic abilities. So these are ones that don't have the 50% or the 100% because they're going to drain your adrenaline. We want to build adrenaline. So all of these make sure that they are set up properly for you to do your damage rotation. To start off, I'm going to use range. Now let's start attacking this combat dummy over here. As you can see, we're going to start building our adrenaline. And what we want to do is we want to get this adrenaline to 100% before we can start our damage rotation. So that's why we're using our basic abilities. The basic abilities don't use your adrenaline. These thresholds, as you can see over here, they do use your adrenaline. So you actually not get to use your ability if you don't use them. Now we're at 100% adrenaline, we can start our damage rotation. So remember, F5, 6, 7, 8, in that order is the damage rotation. If you have different keybinds, it's Ring of Vigor, Boosting Ability, Adrenaline Potion, and Ring Switch. And we want to do it in that order as fast as possible. We have our Equipment tab open so we can see when we switch our ring, and let's get into it. So, starting our damage rotation in 3, 2, 1. Ring of Vigor, then we're going to use Death Swiftness, drink our adrenaline potion, switch back to our luck of the wharves here, do a couple basic abilities, and then we're going to use our first threshold, which is going to be snapshot. Now that snapshot's been used, we're going to build our adrenaline again and use rapid fire. That is our damage rotation. Look at this, we're using snapshot and rapid fire inside death swiftness right now. We can also use tendrils, we can also use bombardment, so we can do these other thresholds if we wanted to while in our death swiftness, because remember, while we're inside Death Swiftness, everything is boosting 50% damage. That's the main reason why we want to get this off as fast as possible. Our thresholds are active again. Let's get back into them. And there you go, guys. That is a damage rotation. Let's try it with a different combat style. Now, remember, after drinking your Adrenaline Potion, it will go on cooldown for two minutes. So you can't do this every single time. You will have to wait for your Adrenaline Potion to come off cooldown to do it again. However, while you do have it off cooldown, you're going to be able to drink that and get to your threshold abilities a lot quicker. Next up, we have got magic. So we've still got 21 seconds on our cooldown, but that should be about the same time as us to build up to 100% adrenaline again. So same as before, all we want to do is just go through all of our basic abilities, building our adrenaline up. It is a little bit faster if you do the keybinds rather than letting it go through itself. So if you can manually press all of these abilities at 
your Wimp, it's going to be a lot quicker as well. So we're only two abilities from 100% here. There we go. Now we're at 100%, let's do our damage rotation once again. It's the same four buttons. Doesn't matter the combat style. We've set it up so it's the same four buttons. So F5, F6, F7, F8. Damage rotation is done. Now we do our threshold abilities. So that's our first one off. Now we're going to get some more basics and do our second one, which is going to be Asphyxiate. So we've got Sunshine active, 50% more damage. We've saved our Adrenaline. We've used two thresholds. And now what we can do as well is with our third threshold, which is Detonate, we can build this up and then unleash a huge damage there, 7,000 damage for our Detonate. See? It's not too hard. Not too hard. All you guys need to remember is the combination. F5, F6, F7, F8. Then we do Threshold 1, Threshold 2. So that's on my Q and my W key here. So Threshold 1, Threshold 2. And there's your damage rotation complete. I've had people ask what hands these are. These are the sharkfish gauntlets. So yeah, I got these many, many years ago and people always ask me what these are. These are just the sharkfish gauntlets. Alrighty, now we're going to build up our melee version of this. Now the difference between the melee and the magic and the ranged versions is the boost for melee unlocks a lot sooner, but it does carry a little bit of a penalty. You're going to do twice as much damage, but you're also going to take 50% more damage. So there is a bit of a trade-off to this one. Double the damage, a little bit more damage received. But if you are using your prayer, you are going to negate that, so it doesn't matter. All right, we've got ourselves 100% adrenaline here. Now, just remember, say it with me in your head if you wanted to plot along. F5, F6, F7, F8, and then we're going to do our basic abilities, and then our threshold one. So there we go, threshold one has gone off. Now we're going to build to threshold two, threshold two, and there it goes. That is our damage rotation done. Now, I don't know why I had Flurry there. You would probably want to use something a little bit better, which is something like a Destroy. So you could use Destroy and Assault in that situation if you wanted to. It does work out to be a little bit better, but that is going to be your melee combination there. So you're going to use Berserker, go through your damage rotation, use your Assault, and then use your Destroy to finish them off. And that is the melee combination. If you guys want to see some more tips on increasing your damage, you can check out my five PVM tips and tricks videos, but I wanted to specifically focus on the damage rotation on this one because everyone can do this regardless of what weapons and gear they have. It's a nice way to boost your damage and you can also use the skills that you learn by manually pressing keys in the future of your account as well. Now, I'm not a PVM god or anything like that, and I don't make myself out to be. I am just someone who does something that works for me. So this works for me. It increased my damage a lot by doing this damage rotation, and it's a step in the right direction to get yourself into doing some higher tier PVM. This combination works great at Hellwear, Vindicta, Gregorovic, Twin Furies, any of the God Wars 1 bosses. You can use this damage rotation at Rise of the Six, uh, even Nex. You can use this damage rotation at Nex as well, and it's going to be very beneficial for you. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up. My name is Jim, and I'll freaking see you later.